Hello. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add liquidity to Maverick's testnet. All liquidity is added using the pool page. Here we choose the pair of tokens we want to add. I'm going to choose USDC and LINK. Obviously, in order to deposit tokens, I will need to mint them first. If you need help minting tokens on the testnet, please see our video on how to trade. The next thing to do is to select the fee tier and bin width for the pool I'm going to add liquidity to. If I want to change this, I can click Edit. There I can see a list of the pools that have already been deployed and the ones that have not been deployed. I'm going to deploy a new pool at a certain fee tier and bin width. As the instructions tell us, we need to select a starting price for this pool, i.e. how much one link is worth. I'm going to choose 8 because this broadly reflects the price at time of filming. On this next page, I get to select the mode for my liquidity. In this video, we'll look at the modes briefly, but for more information, please see our docs on understanding modes. These are linked in the description below. Let's start with mode right. Mode right is designed to move your liquidity to the right as the price of link increases in this pool. By default, only the bin directly to the left of the current active bin is selected. Therefore, we can see we only have USDC in our deposit. But if I choose to add the current active bin, we'll see that link gets added too. Mode left works the opposite way. It's designed to follow the price of link as it goes down. By default, the bin to the right of the price is selected, which would only be made of link. Again, selecting the current active bin will require me to add USDC as well as link. Mode both starts in the current active bin and moves our liquidity to follow the price in any direction. I can also choose to add more liquidity to the bins directly to the left or right of the current active bin. Finally, let's look at mode static. We begin by selecting an initial distribution. I can click edit to choose from one of four, exponential wide, exponential narrow, flat, and single bin. We start at exponential wide, and exponential narrow just represents a more narrow version of that shape. Flat gives us a uniform flat distribution, and single bin would simply stake a single bin. Once the distribution has been selected, we can edit each of the individual bins within it. Dragging the top down will decrease the amount of liquidity in a bin, and dragging it up will increase it. We can see the numbers on the left reacting to the changes I'm making in the graph, and here I'm simply adjusting the bins to show you the kind of shapes it is possible to create. That being said, I'm going to settle on an exponential Y distribution for this deposit, and we'll see the graph redeploys. I'm now going to increase the amount of USDC, and we'll see the amount of link increase with it. With all this settled, I can click Confirm. As a reminder, before you use any tokens on the testnet, they must first be approved. In this case, I've already approved both USDC and Link, and the UI tells me that I have already completed these steps and can thus advance directly to confirm. I can review the details of my deposit, which include the fee tier and the mode we selected, and click Confirm Amount. This will send a transaction to MetaMask, which I will then confirm. After a short wait, the blockchain will accept our transaction and I will be told my liquidity has been added successfully. Clicking done will take me back to the home page, and here we can see my new position has been added to my positions. I can manage any of my positions by clicking manage from the home screen. This will take me to the manage liquidity page. If I click add, this will take me back to the add liquidity workflow to add more liquidity to the same position. Clicking remove takes me to the remove liquidity page. Liquidity is managed bin by bin, and so I will be selecting bins for removal. I'll click edit, and then I can choose which bins to remove. A check mark next to a bin indicates this bin is targeted for removal. I'll choose to remove the first three leftmost bins, and we can see they are now highlighted on the graph to let me see exactly what I'm doing. Since I'm only removing bins to the left of the price line, these consist only of USDC, and therefore no link is going to be removed. Since everything looks good, I'll click Confirm, Confirm Amount, and then confirm the transaction in MetaMask. After a short wait, I will be told the removal has been successful, and I can click Done to return to the home page. This concludes our video on how to add liquidity to Maverick's testnet.